Hey what's up y'all, Renelli here, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you all my full wash day routine start to finish and this video is in collaboration with my YouTube sister being Gabrielle. So after watching this video head over to her channel. So we both have different hair types as well as our routine is a bit different in terms of the products that we use. So this should be a very interesting collaboration and I hope that you all enjoy. Alright y'all, so my wash day routine is heavily focused on moisture because that is one of my problematic areas. So some people may focus on growth but mine is very heavily focused on just retaining and gaining some moisture into my hair. So we're about to transform from this y'all to this. <laughs> so let's go. This is a wash day routine that I do every 3-4 to four weeks to really give my hair a boost and to give my hair some moisture. Typically, I would just do shampoo, conditioner and deep conditioner. In addition to this, this is my wash day routine. It may not work for you, but this is what works well for me. And the next thing is I know that this is a lengthy process, but you don't have to sit and watch your time pass by. You could cook, read a book, watch a movie and do chores around the house while you wait. Okay, so we're starting off with detangling. For detangling, I don't use any kind of cream or anything. I use good old water. So I divide my hair into sections and I just spray my hair with some water. And then I use my macadamia detangling brush and I just detangle all sections. No drama, no baby, mama, keeping it cute. Body and car, we flexing. Baby, we can stand the test of time. And you ain't even got a second guess that you mean the world to me. I travel around the globe, but I know that. So I am using my DIY oil mixture for this hot oil treatment. If you are interested in the oils that I use, check out my Pennywise holes. So I placed the bottle uncovered into the microwave for 30 seconds. But I got a new microwave and it was too much, the bottle was very very hot. So you just want to kind of test it out and see. I ended up having to use this bath glove because boy oh boy it was burning. <laughs> so then I'm just going to place the oil or spray the oil all over my scalp some people use an applicator bottle I prefer the spray bottle and you want to massage massage I fell asleep for like a few seconds <laughs> and you want to focus as well on your edges and your ends and then twist up the section and proceed to the rest of your hair Time, roses at your feet baby girl be mine baby girl be mine yeah hey Pick up your phone, I need your attention My girl so bad, we call her detention I am so glad we moved beyond so now my hair looks very very shiny and it feels nice and I'm placing a shower cap over this and then a bonnet over the shower cap and you'll find out more about this heat bonnet um, later on in the video when I do my deep condition so I just leave this on for approximately an hour so now we're on to shampoo and I'm using my VO5 sulfate free shampoo and I always talk about this shampoo and well the conditioner in my Pennywise holes. I really really love it. It does not dry out my hair and then besides I just did a hot oil treatment so my hair is basically pre pooed so no drying out, no stripping. Alright y'all, so I don't have exact measurements for the Aztec clay, but what I do is just combine it with some apple cider vinegar until I get a creamy consistency. If you want an exact measurement, then you could probably check out some other YouTube videos. So I use this not only to clean my hair, especially when I have a lot of buildup, but also it brings out my curl pattern. And there's something about it y'all, my hair just behaves when I use Aztec clay. Like it just behaves and I could tell the difference when I'm lacking it. It's just really really awesome. So as you all could see my curls are already forming and it's really amazing. So I'm going to be applying it to every section of my hair and you just want to kind of even divide your hair into smaller sections and really ensure that your hair is coated with the clay. So I'm going to do this to every section of my hair and then I'll probably leave it in for like 30 to 45 minutes. Um, under a shower cap. Hit you up half past nine. Say let's go for a ride. City lights in the sky. Top down, close my eyes. We got no place to be. Driving around aimlessly. Thinking about the past. 
So after the 45 minutes, I'm rinsing out my hair with warm water. And the reason I'm using warm water, well mainly, is because this could actually clog the hole in your shower. But using warm water will help that and it just breaks up the clay. So that's one of the reasons why I use warm water and then I think it's recommended that you use warm water anyway. And so it takes a while to rinse out because remember it's clay and you allowed it to dry for like 45 minutes in your hair. So it will take some time to rinse out but when it's rinsed out you all will love the results. Well at least I, I love the results so I don't know. So long time I used to use shampoo to rinse out my hair after the Aztec clay and I was like why is my hair feeling like this? And then I watched some YouTube videos and I realized nobody else was using shampoo <laughs> to rinse it out. It just leaves your hair feeling weird. So now my hair is coming to come. I love the curls. I love how my hair looks and it feels amazing. And it's bringing life to my hair. So now I'm applying the hair treatment moisture therapy from Kiki Ever Naturals. And I don't think that this is really referred to as a deep condition, but girl, it works for me, so I use it. And I'm just ensuring that the product is evenly distributed through every section of my hair. And y'all, I don't chunks on products. I apply products until I'm like, okay, this section has enough products. <laughs> Let me know if y'all can relate in the comment section. So now after applying that product throughout my hair, I go in with another shower cap. I'm not using the same one just because I don't want the Aztec clay to go back on or in my hair because we just use it with the Aztec clay. And the bonnet that I told you all about earlier is called Hothead Thermal Hair Care and I bought it from a local brand called Curls in Titi. And what you do is place it into the microwave and it heats up and you all know they said that adding heat um, to your deep condition makes it more effective. Some people go under a hooded dryer. I just bought this so I really like it so yeah so after 30 minutes of having the deep condition in I reheat the bonnet in the microwave I leave it for another 30 minutes so that's an hour and then I rinse out my hair I'm having a lot of fun as you could tell all right y'all so I detangled did a hot oil treatment shampooed my hair applied Aztec clay applied a deep conditioner and now we are here no pun intended hair hair you know so now I'm just putting on my microfiber towel. So to twist my hair, I'm using the Softy Naturals Pure Shea Shine Pomade. And I'm spraying my hair with a little bit of water just to dampen all the sections. And y'all, my advice to you, when you finish wash your hair, please twist your hair. Please use something moisturizing, whatever you want to use. Whether it's a moisturizer, a leave-in conditioner, a pomade, grease. Please just don't leave your hair like that because trust me, it will defeat the whole purpose. Been there, done that. So you all see how juicy my twists are, it's very shiny, it looks so great and I just know from seeing this that my twist out is going to be boom. And I'm gonna sleep later the next day okay so it's the following day and usually i would leave the twist in my hair for like two or three days but i had some content to film and so i decided to take it out the day after and the only results is just amazing i had a picture up on instagram and on my whatsapp and stuff and also i did an igtv video and people were commenting on my curls so y'all this is just amazing I know this process was a very lengthy one and you don't have to do this you could do something simpler if you want but this is what I do and I really love the results that I get um sometimes my hair will be dry and I'm like yo you need to do something but other than that I don't have dryness as I did um like five years ago it was awful So 
this is the before and after as you can see is like a great transformation so thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like share comment subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and don't forget to check out being gabrielle's video the link will be in my description below Come and